this project, actually, it's a part of the overall vision for the state of Qatar, for the improvement and the enhancement of the LNG development. Now, this led to the idea of building the, a major port to be able to cater for this industry, the LNG industry, and to export it to the needed countries. I could say it's a big harbor. It's not like a normal harbor of three or five kilometers of breakwaters. We're talking about 12 kilometers of breakwaters and causeways. We drive around uh, on the side by car. Without leaving the car, it will take you approximately three hours. The construction schedule is 36 months, which in real terms is very, very short. And to do this with the approval procedure, required for Qatar Petrol, which is our client, means full speed was required right from the beginning. The main contributor to the success of this job, in my opinion, was the teamwork between all the team. This is our culture, this is where we are at CC. There, there was lots of challenges faced in this project. CC have stepped in with the major resources, with their vision of their top management, with the major support and tremendous backup for this project uh, from the home office in Athens and the engineering office in Abu Dhabi and our area office here. There is no blame culture. We were working together. We help each other wherever we see that it is required to put a hand, everybody was ready to contribute to make that engineering provide, the procurement to provide, and the construction to provide. When we came here and started our work, there were approximately 150,000 men working in Rastafan. Now, this Rastafan city was changing nearly every day. And to take all this development into consideration of our design, up to date was not an easy task, very difficult, which created a lot of revisions, changing, redoing it again. Time was lost due to this, making the whole issue quite sophisticated and complicated. We have completely employed about 10,000 people, which is a peak manpower with multinationalities. About 46 nationalities were engaged in this project. The safety here was a combination of marine application and land application. We broke the record for QP on such industrial jobs of 25 million man hours without LTA. In many cases in this project, we had to improvise and go out of our normal, traditional way of construction. One of the difficulties that we faced in this project is the deliverable. We have done temporary things, temporary solutions, so when the new parts or anything comes, we can replace it immediately. We have done lots of pre-casting and put it aside, so when the time and the drawings and the material are available, then immediately we can place these pre-cast units. We had to communicate with all over the world for material required for this job. Starting from the rock, the gabbro for the batching plant, for the asphalt plant, for the transformers, all kind of equipment we require in this job, the cabling. The dolphins were precasted back in Ajman and coming from seaside by marine equipment where we can load them using a cranes of 400 ton crane capacity. The challenge in this job is you have to build it from the sea bottom all the way up. That's including all the engineering part of it, all the 
communications or the utilities. The contract was scheduled to be completed by the 26th of March 2011, three years later, and the work has been done. Now as we came to the end of this project, uh, I only can say one thing, that it was a very enjoyable ride where it has its ups and downs, but at the end of the day that we really are proud of achieving and we all can go back with a smile on our faces. I've been working with CCC for the last 25 years. I never seen something impossible with CCC. And this was another one to say, yes, we can go for a bigger one, we can go for a more complicated one, a more complex one. Together we can make it.